Okay, good morning everyone. This is Melissa in the live trading room. We're gonna go over the trades from today, or the trade from today, the one trade from today, the only, only trade from today. Which is Rand. Let me just see here. Okay, did anyone just retake this? Wow, I, I'm, I'm, I'm completely out of it, which was the absolute, absolute, absolute right thing for me to do. But is anybody back in this before I go over it? Okay, everybody's writing the amounts, they're up. <gasps> shower Singer, woo, Shower Singer. Shower Singer, how much did you have for that? Wow, okay, let me add everything up. 999, okay, seven, $772 for Wine Boy. New Jersey Traders 99.9, 500 for Bobby, Galahad 38.50, Shower Singer 4404. That's amazing. Line 38 made $900. Cruiser made 850. Magic 88 made 1080. He's still holding. Okay. Frequent Flyer made 812. Smitty made 102. Linden didn't close the trade yet. I'm not sure why. Moonraker made 746. Greg made 747. You must have had a better price than me or got out better than me, Shower Singer. Uh, Red's still in it. Beanie made 152. Red and Linda, I don't know why you're still in the whole position of this, though. Jaguar Paw, how much did you make? Great call. Unfortunately, you were not able to trade even though I liked it so much. Platform had a virus attack? Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Okay, this uh, five eighty five for options help or five seventy five. Anybody else? Anybody else want to share what they made today? It's pretty fantastic though. All right, let me add up mine in here too. Listen, be careful. Be careful here if this doesn't break a new low. Let me tally up mine. Wow, the whole room today of the people who shared, and some of you are still in it, even though I think you shouldn't be, uh, if it goes over this five minute and doesn't break a new low, we have a total of $20,614.84. Of which two people, me and Shower Singer, make up about two, you know, one third of that. So do you see the different size tape makes? You know, but that's the goal. The goal is always size. The goal is always, 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 always size. <laughs> you double that tomorrow? <laughs> I can't force people to do whatever they want to do. Either people are going to take the risk they want or not. I, I wonder if I would have gotten filled 10,000 shares of that. I, I, I don't know. I guess I could have pre pressing, pressing, pressing it. Probably in this little juhagi here, maybe. If I sat the order. But you know how dangerous that is? Believe an order like sitting there like that when something like this happens without a stop in? I'm saying like once you take the trade and the stop is in, you're protected. But if you take it, I mean, if you don't get in and you leave the order set, look, this is, didn't break a new low. This didn't break a new low. This didn't break a new low, people. I'd be out. Anyways, if you, wow, geez, I really did get out in here in this low of the day then. If, wow. Anyways, if you leave an order sitting here to fill you as a short in a boop up, the problem is then by the time it fills you, you can go poo and then you can't get the stop in. So I really generally am very, very careful with that, basically. Jaguar Paw, you think you would have taken 4,000 shares. Okay, well, add Magic 88's numbers to the total, 1635. Wow, some of you people are really putting on the numbers here, aren't you? Good job, people. Good job. Great job, everyone, for having the guts. 2,000 shares is still a lot because that's $400. I mean, that's an advanced risk. Okay. All right, let's go over it. The weird thing was, I thought this was not open for a minute. I mean, it was open, and I was like, wait a minute. I mean, 
Actually, does somebody want to look that up? Was this really open here? I'm not so sure if it was. It was weird the way it hung there. Someone Google that and find out for me when this really opened today. Somebody do that. Anybody. Anyways, I don't, I don't really know where it opened. I, I was thinking that it opened here, but then I wasn't 100% sure. So then I said, put the stop at 40. Well, boy, that was a good idea. That was a really, really good idea. You miss it today, but you won't miss it next time. It just helps the conviction. Next time you see an NCOF with the right setup, you're raising your risk. Well, you would have, actually, if you had taken 4,000 shares. 4,000 shares would have been $800. You don't normally risk that, Jaguar Paw. I mean, that would have been a lot. The only person here that's taking similar to the rest to me is really, you know, shower singer, and he can afford it. He can afford it. Those laundry mats. The market maker was probably finishing his coffee. I think it opened 30 seconds late. I don't know, this whole minute here. Looks weird. Anyways. Whatever. It had volume. I mean, there was volume in the pre-market. The market was open by this point. I knew what the numbers were. We did it. I wasn't scared out of it here or concerned. I think I ended up getting everything I wanted in this bar then, because I remember here, like, not. Anyways, then, then it went, okay? And then you could have taken a little bit more here. And then it fell. I kind of sweated the bullet here, because I really was like, crap. Because I was up here, not quite $2,000, maybe it was over two, I wasn't looking at my platform every second, but it rallied a lot, and it rallied over 14, and I was like, crap, but I kept the conviction, and I just double triple checked the chart, and then I wanted to double triple check basically how, where I would, thought it would go in the day, and then I said, you know what, stay with it, Melissa, stay with it. What I want to try to do is hold the NCOX to a at least a first or second target or, the, or 10 o'clock. Here, my plan of action is this. Hold them to 10 or the target or first and second drop into the target or second drop. Because like what, what usually happens is this is what I found. Do you see the positioning here like of this? Usually what happens, first of all, this wasn't even a target. So that was the one thing. But the other thing was that usually if you can hold it through the second drop, the second drop can double your money. That's exactly what happened in here. Here, look, it actually maybe it is still lower. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not calling anything else in this. But if you did redo this over here, no, here, and over here, remember I said to put the stop over really over 14. Just be really careful here now. I mean, this did not keep going right in here, but, I mean, it's so weak. This is a big move for the stock on the day, though, quite frankly. It's a dollar. It was a dollar. Let me just see if I have any questions here. The, the gap. The gap rated well. It was a highly rated gap. It was a good quality, highly rated gap. I remember I told you yesterday that I was on the watch for this anyways. Don't you remember? Only bummer of it was that I couldn't do any prep work because when I rolled out of bed this morning and went to the gym, nothing had happened with this yet. I had to wait until I come back. And to be honest, then it was like, yeah, it was 750. I mean, this didn't actually gap until 750. I'm not saying that's late. I'm not saying that's late. To, I mean, obviously, I'm not saying that's late. That's plenty of time. I have plenty of time. But I didn't want to talk then in the room, and I didn't want to even scan, and I didn't even want to look at anything else, and I just didn't want to do anything but focus on this, and that's what I said in the room, I'm no talking, no talking, no looking at anything else, I don't even, I didn't, I didn't look at anything else, and I really didn't even care, like I just didn't even care, because this happened so late, and then I felt like I needed 100% focus on this, I was so focused on this, that's how, that's how you have to do it, I mean, I don't, I don't care how much money you have, if you're trading on a one minute chart and taking risk, even if you can afford it, and the size that I did this today, or some of you did it as well, you must be focused because you do realize it can go against you just as well as it can go in your favor. That's why you have to know how to trade well. You must know how to trade well to make money. And to be honest, if you want to make good money, you have to take size. You don't have to take the same kind of size I do, but I got to tell you, there is nothing better than making that kind of money in that time frame. I mean, there's just nothing better than that. I'm going to have a great day now today. I feel like going out for a glass of wine now, and it's 10.07. 
the market. The market is rallying. Which I figured it would do in a gap up, which is happening today. So when I saw the market gap up today, I thought, well, maybe this is it. And apparently it's trying to be. But it's going to take its time in here. It's going to take its good old fat, fat time. 109.25, 109, 109.50. Do I think we get above 109.50 today? No, probably not. Probably not, but I think we could end up power trending all day here. 109.50 is the target, and the QQQ is you want to go long. I didn't have any time to call this, though. The SPY, though, is getting into the resistance area. It, it, it has to blow over 210, 210.50 to really get some momentum underway today. If it does, it can get up to 211, a dollar from here. SPY looks great. I knew we'd have to gap up to get out of this drop down, and that's exactly what we did. So we're on our way back up to make a new high. Could it happen this week? I don't know. There's only two more days left in the week, but who knows? If we close today very, 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 very strong, then we could gap up again tomorrow and run and make a new high. Or we could open neutral tomorrow and run and make a new high. Or we could gap down tomorrow and still run up and get over today's high and make a new high. There's still time left. Wow, look at this market. This is buying, people. That's what it looks like. Lulu yesterday, actually, I should have went back and looked at it, but I didn't. I didn't because it really wasn't even gapping. But then it had a huge, massive run up at 9.15. And I completely forgot about it. So it was kind of weird. Like, I should have really gone back to look at that. Anytime that happens again in the future time, please remind me. Because honestly, I really, 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 really just didn't even think it would change that much. But it just goes to tell you that a stock could actually look better or worse into the open. So I kind of just got off of this. We should have bought Lulu yesterday. It would have been tough, though, in the morning. The play really was late in the morning in the afternoon. Again, longs take so long to set up, which is why I prefer the shorts. Because you can do something to be all out very, 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 very quickly. You had platform issues, surf dog, and got out with a $451 profit. I didn't put you in the total, let me add you. Why did you have platform issues if you were in the trade? I'm cons like, I don't understand. Usually if you, if you have an issue, you can't even take the trade. You took the trade, but then you couldn't get out of the trade? Or what? That was weird. Well, I, I have sterling and I didn't lose anything. Surf Dog, what platform are you on? This is one of these things we've talked about. Sometimes you have issues with platforms and things, and then what are you going to do? It's, you know, you have to be careful. But honestly, people, this I, I don't think this, I think this is done for the morning. I'm not saying it doesn't break down again later in the day, but I, this looks like it's done. Your computer froze. Oh, then that's no one's fault at all. Let's look at the watches for tonight. Let's just do a reset right here. Let's just do a reset right here. Right now, reset. June 10th, going forward, I want you to write a plan of action for all trades that I say are NCOFs. I want you to write it, okay? And we'll talk about it one day. The next day we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have anything to do, which will probably be like Monday, because there's usually nothing on a Monday. Write your plan of action, your trading plan just for NCOFs with Melissa. I want everyone to do that. Okay, and you can email it to me if you want and we can talk about it in the room if you're okay with that You can use your fake name use your fake name and put it on put it put it on a sheet and we'll write it in a room You don't have to use your real name and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about anybody that wants to share what they're doing and And, and I can do it too, which I pretty much know but I didn't write it down But in my head I knew 
So that's what we should do. And then we then we, we go into earnings season knowing exactly. But we could get another one of these before the before earnings season. Uh, let me just look here. MW is out tonight. Well, this will be interesting. Kind of thin today, but MW is not half bad. BV, no. Fox, no. DDC, no. Nice watches. Here's, here they are. Why do you keep talking about this ESPR? I didn't even look at it, but I will. Why are you in love with this? It's, why are you in love with this? It's, it's not even moving. Is it, is it moving? First of all, it has a 30 cent spread. If you paid me $1,000, I wouldn't take a trade in this. Well, if you paid me $1,000, I'd risk 100 bucks and I'd bank the rest. No, I'd risk $50 and I'd bank the rest. What, what do you want to do with this? Huge rally over the high. Very, very spready. A dollar stop in here doesn't even include the spread. This is like a two and a half hour trade, if that, with the spread. What was the R's on this? I didn't even calculate them. But let's do it. This was four and a 4.6 R's if you held it all the way down with your whole position. Now, I know some of you didn't do that, probably. Well, actually, who did? Who had enough conviction to hold it all the way down into the last drop? I know some of you probably got out in here, some of it. But who really held the conviction? And again, it doesn't matter if you got out at 37, 39, 40, 41. I mean, it really doesn't. Who actually had the mojo to hold their whole trade into this drop? Write it in the room. The ones of you that had the big numbers, you did. You got out at 85. Okay. Until you do the class, Bobby, I know you've signed up for the class, but until you do the class, I would just be following what I do in here, which is why I yelled at you yesterday for going long that stock. And by the way, uh, no, it was two days ago. Do you see what this did? It would do it after you even went long it. I mean, I don't remember what time it was, but I know it kept going and it went to the dream target and beyond. And I yelled at you way before that even happened. And and this is exactly what I'm talking about in here. You were you were going long this up here at some point in the morning, and I was like, what? You were going long this in here in some kind of bounce, and I yelled at you, and then it fell off the planet again, and again it did. So. I mean, this is exactly, I would just really, you got to follow me until you do the class. You must, okay? With whatever the risk is that you define for yourself, like put the stop in. But, you know, this is exactly why I was like, don't do that. And then it actually even kept going. And even I was surprised. It almost went to 39. Okay, so the Qs are trying to get up to the number. The SPY is getting into the resistance. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Got out of Summit 98, out of Summit 71, out of Summit 40. Sounds like you kind of piecemeal out like trader gal. That's fine. Actually, this is setting up on the 5 minute and the 15. Here, I'm going to call a trade. It's late though. 74 if you want to do it. 74. I still think you got to have it over 14. 74 by 1405 Fran. 
for basically what will be the 15 minute trigger. It's holding on the five, but it really needs the 15. So that's why I'm telling you with the stop over 14. This actually could break down on the 15 minute chart again. There's no way I'm taking another trade today. And no one in here should. But if you really, really felt like you wanted to do something else in here today, you could. If you absolutely feel like you have to. We could get, we just, it's not realistic though. I mean, I just have to take more risk in the ones that I like. We don't get, we don't get, you know, two, three NCOFs a week. We just don't. And it's the only ones that I feel like I could just go, ooh, just, it's almost like when I, I, I feel like, like I said to myself this morning, again, I didn't want to talk in the room because I didn't want to get into teacher mode, but really in my mind today, I was like, there's nothing that this can't do that I won't do it. And when I, that's what, when I, when I know that there's, that it's going to work when 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 that when it could do anything into the open at all anything reverse whoosh it could it, when it when it could do anything when the market could do anything when i don't even look at the market because i don't even care when when i when when i say this could do anything and I, i'm going to take it it's almost like no matter what it does i'm going to take it when when i look at that and i say that then i then i know then I, then i'm all in and there's just nothing holding me back. Instinct. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? If not, I'm just going to let everybody go. And I put the stuff in the watches for tonight. I don't think anyone else should trade today. I think everyone should be very, 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 very disciplined. Okay? There's no reason for you to take any of the trades today. You had one job this morning to get up and make money, and your job is done. Whatever you made today, congratulate yourself. The total then, the total, total tally, 2224984 plus 451, 22784 cents. Pretty good. $22,700.84 in room made today. That's great. I have no idea what tomorrow's trade is going to be. Options help. Nothing's gapped yet. I put the watches tonight in the room. You can you can look at those things. They have earnings out, but nothing's gapped yet. I don't know unless something gaps what I can do with it. But I did put the list of watches up in the room. Here it is again. You can watch these things tonight, but they haven't gapped yet. And I don't know if they're going to gap up or down. And I don't even know if they're going to be good. You want me to ask the magic eight ball? About what? What should we ask the magic eight ball? Let's ask before we go today. <sighs> Why don't we do this? Let's be realistic with the question. Not that I'm actually a realistic person in any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Let's ask, though, um, depending on what you consider realism. I'm, it's real in my own mind. Let's ask the Magic 8-Ball if between now and next Friday, we're going to get another NCOF. Reply, Hazy, try again. See, that isn't good. I should have taken the word for the BBRY target. Do you remember when I asked that yesterday? Magic 8 Ball was right about that. I should have got it out of that in the in the low when I asked that before. I should have. I should just kill that. Actually, I ended up killing that break even yesterday because I did have the class. The class saved me. Uh, all right, let's ask something else. Uh, are we going to get another highly rated good gap before the end of this week to make money? Let's just ask that. Something good. Ooh, that wasn't good either. Concentrate and ask again. All right. Am I going to make more money this earning season in third quarter in July and August than I've ever made before trading in my life in that two months? You may rely on it. Works for me. <laughs> That's the only answer I care about. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Have a great day. <laughs> and I'll see you. You're, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome. Bye.